This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up a printer using Flow Express and the web server in the FlowX Flow computer. In this exercise, we'll be setting up two Ethernet printers and one serial printer. Navigate to Ports and Devices. For a serial printer, we'll select COM1 and we can either select New or right click on COM1, select New, and Text Printer Serial. Click on the new printer we've just created. And over to the right, in the box that says name, we will change the name of this printer to Printer 1. At the top, each manufacturer at times may have different end of report characters, new line characters, or next page characters. These can be modified using the manufacturer commands. To add a network printer, we will click on Ethernet and right click select new and go down and add a text network printer. We'll highlight the printer and then over on the right hand side we will change the name. Let's name this one operations. You can see again that we have the option for end of character reports, new line characters. These can be enabled by either selecting true or false in the drop down menu. To add a second printer, we simply either select New, right-clicking on Ethernet, or up top on New, and we'll create our second printer. We'll now rename this printer. We'll now rename this printer Office. We must now set up the number of copies and the printer to which these reports will be generated. On the right-hand navigation bar, we'll select Reports, and first we'll start off with the Snapshot Report. Select the Properties tab, and now all three of our printers are listed. We're just going to print this one to printer 1. Over on the right hand side, we're going to select one copy to generate and one reprint copy to generate. We'll now select our meter ticket and we'll print off copies at both our operations. And our office printers. We're going to enable the daily reports but we're not going to select a printer for them to be printed at. Now, using the online web browser, we'll navigate to System, to the Printers icon, and for the Operations printer, we'll select their icon, and now we can put in the IP address, a unique queue if needed, and also a user if required by the print server. Pressing the up arrow will take us up one level, We'll select the office printer, and again we can put in the IP address, the queue, and any username. For the serial printer, the baud rate, parity, stop bits, and whether it's a 232 or 45, can be all be modified by going into the COM port settings and then COM port 1. To find more video tutorials or information about our products, please navigate to www.spiritit.com.